Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Fox News drops bombshell on Obama proving his involvement via text messages. Uh oh, it looks like we may now have proof Barack Hussein Obama was involved in the early stages of the Trump Russia probe. 100% fed up is now reporting that Fox News has exposed the details of a bombshell that dropped yesterday. Of course, no one in the media was even paying attention because it implicates the Messiah. During a Fox Business News segment yesterday Elizabeth McDonald revealed that newly discovered text messages from October 2016, prove beyond any shadow of a doubt that Barack Hussein Obama's White House was involved in the early stages of the Trump-Russian probe with the fired AG Andrew McCabe and disgraced FBI agent Lisa Page. The sensational, and apparently non-news to the mainstream media, texts from Page to former AG Andrew McCabe that have been uncovered are as follows. October 14, 2016, Lisa Page to Andrew McCabe. Just called. Apparently the DAG now wants to be there, and the WH wants DOJ to host. So we are setting that up now. We will very much need to get Cohen's view before we meet with her. Better have him weigh in with her before the meeting. We need to speak with one voice if that is in fact the case. October 19, 2016, Lisa Page to Andrew McCabe. Hey can you give me a call when you get out? Meeting with WH Council is finally set up and I want to talk about timing. Thanks. McDonald told her viewers that Fox News' Catherine Harridge was the first to break the story. Then she went on to confirm, so, despite all the denials, the Obama White House was, indeed, involved at the very early stages of what was going on with Trump Russia. Wonder if the mainstream media will pick up on this? Probably not, they are way too happy taking President Trump to task at the moment for not declaring war with Russia and starting World War III. The left-wing liberal media better get a grip, and get it fast. They call out President Trump for being too tough on North Korea, while at the same time they call him out for not being tough enough on Russia. Makes you wonder what these people are really after and what their true goal is. Considering how the president has done an awesome job so far I'm pretty much sure whatever it is they are after can't be good for the American people. And the American people won't put up with their lies any longer. Here is more on this via conservative Daily Post. Newly released documents show that former President Barack Obama's White House lied about being involved in the early stages of the Russia witch hunt, according to the Gateway Pundit. In fact, Spygate kicked off months before the FBI even formally opened its investigation into alleged collusion between President Donald Trump and Russia during the 2016 presidential election, and documents show that the Democrat dictator wanted to take over. During an interview last Thursday night on Fox News, The Hill columnist John Solomon told host Sean Hannity that documents show Obama's White House was trying to take over phony Russian collusion probe months before the FBI formally opened the investigation. Solomon pointed to two major clues that prove Obama was far more influential in triggering the probe into Trump than many ever knew. First, he revealed Peter Strzok and Lisa Page wrote in a text message that, the White House is running this. As detailed by conservative Daily Post, Strzok served as the number two counterintelligence analyst at the FBI before being demoted last year and fired from special counsel Robert Mueller's team after an internal probe found that he had sent hundreds of anti-Trump text messages to Page, a former lawyer at the FBI lawyer with whom he was having an affair. Page abruptly resigned earlier this month amid the numerous allegations against her. And, all of this happened under fired FBI Director James Comey, who was undoubtedly aware of the entire operation. Secondly. Solomon said the Obama White House began efforts to target and reach out to Trump campaign officials to gain intelligence months before the FBI had an official predicate. Federal law states that the U.S. government can't use confidential sources until they have a predicated investigation. Solomon said Obama's team was using sources who were providing information to the White House well before July 31, 2016, which is when the FBI officially launched its investigation. Last month, CDP reported that the FBI spy that was embedded into Trump's 2016 campaign was Stephen Halper, a University of Cambridge professor who previously worked as a CIA operative. He is currently an informant for the FBI in counterintelligence operations and is deeply connected to the Clintons. He's also a serial liar. The Obama White House lied about being involved in the Russia probe months before the FBI officially launched its investigation. His administration also skipped over affording constitutional rights and immediately launched a spy campaign against Trump, with the clear goal of falsely portraying him as guilty for colluding with Russia. As Solomon noted on Hannity, we are arguably talking about the biggest scandal in modern political history, and there are many more secrets that remain hidden. That was the news. 
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.